Alright, welcome back to Wolf Dog Empire. Today we'll be taking a look at Faded Summons. So I am sitting at 100 out of 100. And some of the heroes that are interesting here are if you need a blue healer, Pulsar Partout. I think Captain Nemo is a really good sniper, uh, especially if you use the um, ailments like defense down, elemental defense down. Then by the time he hits, you know he is fast. There may be some ailments out there, and he may be able to hit with the six six hundred percent damage instead of three hundred percent damage. Um, burn damage only. Oh, I I really did pick um, Garden Gazelle, the Hatter. I do have a costume for Garden Kong, so I did pick him. And then here comes the big decision for me. So Captain Nemo is interesting. Uh, I have a lot of blue healers, so I'm not going to go with Possible Part 2. I don't really use green anymore, but this is a an interesting uh, hero here. Here's one. Maybe this is the one I should choose. Let me see. Deals 225% damage to the target. And nearby enemies. Cleanse the status ailments from all allies at the end of each turn for three turns. Deals extra damage against ice. That's very interesting for sure. And the damage, 225% at 1433. Yeah, for sure, Francine is an interesting one. She's fast mana. She doesn't hit that hard, but she does hit to target and nearby. She's got a passive to get a uh, 50% chance to steal a dispellable buff every time she casts her special skill. And she is fast, so she'll be casting it um, more often than the average ones, or, or slow, or very slow. But, so she's interesting there. I have a... Actually, I have two base costume... I mean, two base Krampus. And I don't even use... The first one that I maxed out, I hardly ever use them in war anymore. I should, maybe I should find a way to use them more, but I already have a second base. So to bring a third base when I'm not even using the first one, it's not going to happen for me. But some people who don't have Krampus at all might be interested in him. Costume Rock. I have two Costume Rocks. They're both at... I think they're both limit they're both limit broken. But the costume does I'm gonna show you. So I was really excited when I got costume rock. He does sand damage and then Here's the big ones. Minus 44% defense down for three turns. And then dispel buffs from all enemies. So this was huge for me to st use in stacks in war. Because he gives them a minus 44% defense. All enemies. Minus 44% defense down for three turns. Which is a really big defense down to all. I believe to all, that is the largest defense down in the game that I know of when it's to all. And this spells buffs from all enemies, so that was really big too. But then I ended up getting uh, a Toon Vivica, which has costume Vivica in it. And she also gives minus 44% defense down to all. And she also dispels buffs from all. And instead of the sand damage... She recovers health. She heals. 
So I prefer, and then also with a with the tune bonuses, they're way bigger than these bonuses. And so what happens is, costume Vivica with tune bonuses is way stronger than costume rock. So I even though I had two costume rocks. I have four base Vivicas. Two of them are already at 90 plus 25. So I use, in war, I use the two costume Vivicas for healing and minus 40 44% defense down to all and dispel buffs to all. And so I use those two Vivicas first and then I come use the two rocks afterwards. So I don't need a third one. Go back here and so personally, I don't need another blue healer. I have tons of blue healers. I don't use them all. No custom rock. That's just from my, oh, I mean, this is base rock. If, if you don't have his costume or you think you might not get his costume, He's not that good, but if you do have his costume and you don't have uh, costume Vivica, he would make a, a great second base so that you can have two costume rocks in war. One in in uh, in one war hit and then use them again in the next war hit. But I already have two plus I have a couple of those. Well, actually, I have up to four Vivicas eventually. Right now, I have two that are already maxed out. 90 plus 25. So, he's a no-go for me. I do have another... I do have a costume kill hair. And I do use kill hair. But base kill hair is... Fighter class. And I have... Um, I'm in big need of fighter emblems. Basically, I cannot emblem them up. So, I'm short on emblems right now. So, it's just not going to happen here for, for the bunny. So, no, no. I already have this one. No, I have too many blue healers. So, that's a no. And then this one's a, a fighter. So, that's a no. Is Vanda a fight? No, that's a sorcerer. And then Boss Wolf. Very slow. He'd be good for Rush Wars, huh? Very slow. All allies get plus 24% mana gen for four turns. This effect cannot be dispelled. All enemies get minus 34% mana gen for four turns. All allies counterattack with 115% of the damage received for four turns. Yeah, this one will be good for Rush War. And right now I'm building my red teams, purple and yellow, but this is a no, and that's a no just because I can't emblem him up. This is a no, I can't emblem her up. Um, didn't really like Aaron's card, at least just not for me. Ekrog's card I don't like. Natalia's just burn damage. She's fast. She gives a bunch of burn damage. And only to the target. Minus 54% mana gen for four turns, but only to the target. Yeah, kind of didn't like that that much. 
This one's interesting. So the interesting ones is this one, Lepiota, Boss Wolf. And just for me, I have these already. And I have too many blue healers that I, I can't use them all. So probably say no to that one. That's just personal. And then um, this one is fighter class and I just don't have any emblems up and I have big need for other emblems out there. And I'm not, I'm not really building a green team anymore. Nor blue. Don't like that card. Don't like Aaron. Just so between Lepiota and Boss Wolf. And I do have a Le one Le Lepiota that I'm going to start working on soon. But, but I think that's why I'm going to... I already have one Lepiota, basically. So instead of using a second Lepiota yet, I think I'm going to be be going with Boss Wolf. Even if I only use him in Rush War, I'd still prefer... Because I'm also going to be out of uh, Sorcerer Emblems. Because I'm going to put him on Lepiota. Which is another reason why this one is just a non, non-factor for me. So even though I'm pretty much only going to use him for like Rush War... I think he's still an option, a, a good option just for Rush War because in regular war, he's very slow. So by the time he his effect goes off, it may be too late. But in Rush War, I think it's just going to be just in time. So even if I only use him in Rush War, I th and then I also have a lot of these emblems and master emblems for this, for this one. So... I can actually use them and bring them up. So for me personally, the next one's going to be Boss Wolf. Even though for you, you may need a blue healer big time. Captain Nemo super interesting. I just don't have emblems for him. I already have a costume kill hair. I would go for this base kill hair to have another kill hair. But actually, I have another base kill hair already. Yeah, so that's another reason why I can't. Cannot take kill hair, even though she's really strong. Well, she has a strong hit, which I use elemental defense down with costume guardian panther and uh, or guardian panther. Then I use defense down with Luhai and Nyx. But and so the so kill hair is really strong on offense with me. But actually, I already I I, I did end up pulling two costume kill hairs. Back when Kill Hair, Costume Kill Hair was brand new. But I did max out one. But the second one, I haven't even brought up yet. I have a lot of purples to work on. And so, and I, I'm out of fighter emblems too. So just not going to be a choice for me. I really also do have Lepiota. It's not going to be a choice for me. I already have two Costume uh, Rocks and I only use one in War. And not two. That's not going to happen. I already have two base Krampuses. Even though I do have his costume also. Not going to happen here. I don't need them. I have too many. And so. I think it's going to be Boss Wolf. It was between Boss Wolf and Lepiota. But it's going to be Boss Wolf for me. Even if I only use them in Rush War. I still want them in Rush War. There it is, Boss Wolf. All right, thanks for watching the video. A lot of that came down to my roster. Some of those heroes are a better choice than Boss Wolf for you. But I already have some of those heroes extra bases on those that I haven't even brought up yet. So why would I add another one in there where I'm going to be out of em uh, emblems? All right, uh, let me know what you think about this video. Um... We appreciate subscribes, we appreciate likes, and I'll see you next time here at Wolf Dog Empire.